ericmothermother.com as we come to the conclusion of the day and this is for the first day of March 2018 we are looking at the market here close to the session coming to an end and this is a pretty much a follow through or follow up I should say a follow up from yesterday's video and I'm gonna link the video so we see that the markets are pretty much let's say about down 1% which is consistent with what I was talking about in the previous video from yesterday as you can see let me try and show that right here so I'm gonna link this in the description of the video if we go to the Nasdaq daily chart we can see that now we are seeing what happens when an instrument drops below RSI 50 there is the market close and when an instrument drops below RSI 50 you tend to have a reactional move to the downside of some expanded size and here we can see that the market is pretty much reflecting that so no surprise and as a follow-up to the previous video which I'm gonna link in the description this is consistent with what I was talking about or what looked like could be the possibility remember the market always has the choice to decide what to do it can always change its mind and I also talked about the idea that this is where you see an expansion of volatility because at the highs of the day the market was up I think about a hundred and fifty points for the Dow only to turn around and drop 400 500 points at the lows of the day the Dow I, I believe was down about 540 somewhere in that range and so this is pretty much gonna be a follow-up from yesterday's video and a good follow-up I believe because it shows how the dynamics of moving below or let's say crossing the RSI 50 can affect your you know decision making because if you can see or foresee that the market has the probability of moving above or below 50 it can help you position yourself knowing that there is a likelihood remember we are just looking at odds not certainty there is a likelihood that a movement of some expanded size is about to take place so Eric mother I'm gonna link part one which is this video here in the description of the video if you haven't yet seen it as always good luck peace and blessings and one more time here is where we are settling out for the day the market confirming more than a 1% drop and I must say we would have expected to see a bigger drop because the market at the lows of the day the Dow was down I believe 540 so not closing at the lows of the day but close enough I would say all right let me pan off as always good luck peace and blessings e I see s Mwah.